And so we've just been talking about the cost of reconstruction and recovery. What's the latest when it comes to the movement of the cyclone? Well, overnight, uh, what we know is that it finally did cross the coast of Western Australia, but missed um, some of the major townships in that area. So uh, the also crossed up east of Port Hedland um, and is now made landfall and has been downgraded to a Category 3 uh, tropical cyclone. So that cyclone, uh, according to the Bureau of Meteorology, is tracking as expected. It's on path at the moment. It may end up making it all the way uh, across the border to the Northern Territory in coming days. But uh, as I said, it was a Category 5. It's been downgraded to Category 3 um, and is heading further inland. A lot of strong winds uh, coming with that and expecting dumpings of rain in the next couple of days. So even though the cyclone itself has been downgraded and has missed major townships uh, of Port Hedland, uh, it's well south of Broome, it must be said, a major tourist destination here in, in Australia, uh, in, in the northwest mm. of the country. Uh, it still is tracking inland and, and bringing with it some severe conditions. Not to mention that Western Australia is a key commodities producer. So what's the impact on mining and resources? Absolutely. So Port Hedland, of course, is a huge uh, iron ore export port that has been closed. Uh, we know that ships were being moved out of um, the port area yesterday in preparation for this event. Um, so that's the first thing, uh, waiting for updates uh, as to what further will happen um, with the port's operations at this stage. But where the cyclone is tracking at the moment, it's heading for Telfer, which is where Newcrest has uh, a golden copper mine. Um, we know that Newcrest uh, had already implemented a production ramp-down plans. Uh, it had evacuated uh, a number of staff and was really operating uh, in skeleton staff uh, conditions uh, as they secured the safety. A lot of staff we know from the region have been evacuated um, to Perth um, while this emergency is on. So we will find out uh, in the next, I guess, 24 to 48 hours what will happen. But as I said, uh, Heidi still expecting strong winds and a, and a lot of rain to, to follow uh, in, in the coming days.